Hey guys, how y'all doing? I put the little bunny over here under this, um, you know, bush. And I was, oh, what's wrong with his arm? He fell, and I'm gonna have to put something on his nose. Um, are you okay, honey? Are you okay? And here I put just now some lettuce in there. And I put it, put it just a bit here. I think I put it right best because um, it does need to be kind of chopped up. And put. Are you okay, honey? Are you okay? Here. You want a piece of the grape? Want a piece of grape? Huh? You want a piece of grape? No? Okay. Look, he's mad. I'll just put it over there. I think he's a little bit upset because I put him outside on the deck and, and everything and he's hopping around the deck. It looks like he's upset. He's probably, I hope he's going to be okay. I can't believe he jumped off the deck. It scared me to death. I mean, all I was trying to do was put him in a safe place, and I guess I should have just left him alone. There's some water over here with ice, and I guess I'm gonna go inside and get some milk and um, warm up some milk for him to see if he, maybe he doesn't like lettuce yet. Or he doesn't know what lettuce is, I don't know. But he's upset because he fell. He, he did that on his own. Um, I was trying to, I didn't want that to happen and everything, but it happened. It scared me to death. And I had to bring him over here to this bush. I was gonna bring him to this bush anyways, but I don't know why I did that. What's wrong, honey? Look at the baby. What's wrong? He's upset about something. Well, he's probably upset about, like I said, just some water. I don't want to bother him. And, um, he's probably upset about jumping off and everything. He does say online that they can jump four feet off the bed or whatever. They apparently can jump pretty high or everything. But that's really high. We have to measure that. I think what it was is he wanted to go back outside. He was inside in this little like plastic carrier thing. And I put two, uh, two like um, containers from the Dollar Tree that I had. They were pink and everything. You know, those kind of containers you get from Dollar Tree to organize with and put them together. Zip tie. We just kept him in there for a couple days. And. He seemed, or a day and a half or something, just to get him out of that situation he was in. He was getting ready to get hit by a car. So, I would let him sit over here and calm down. I don't know what... Are you upset, honey? Just leave him alone for a little while. I hope that... I mean, my dog was outside. Um, excuse me. I'm eating that. It's really good. My dog was outside. And the dog... I forgot about the dog, you know, doing this. He went over here and got him and had him in his mouth again. I said, don't do that. And I put the dog in the house. And I'm just going to, I hope that nothing else gets him. I was going to take him somewhere, if I could figure out somewhere safe to take him. Um, I'm going to look it up to wildlife preserve or something like that. Maybe I could take him somewhere. And... They know what to do better than I would. At least, you know, he'd have a better chance there or whatever. I mean, I just don't know. He's, he's upset. And here's some water and here's some left. And here's some, that, it says online that they like, you know, grapes and stuff. That's a really nice treat for them. Okay, I guess he's just mad. I'm gonna stick it over there, close to him. Are you mad? What's wrong? What's wrong, baby? He looks like, oh God. It looks like he, 
hit his nose. You hit your nose? I'm gonna have to do something on his nose. When you fell, you hit his nose. I mean, I didn't know he would do something like that. I thought he was a smart enough, smart enough rabbit. But I'm gonna have to put something, maybe some rubbing alcohol just to get rid of the infection and some says online you can and then some doctor I forgot the guy's name but you can put no support on a little on a animal I'm just gonna leave you in here for a little while and I hope to God that nothing's gonna bother him I'm gonna go for a walk and um, I hope he's gonna be okay right here um, he really wanted to come outside badly so I let him outside but I hope that nothing, I hope nothing bothers you while I'm gone, okay? I'm gonna take him somewhere where I saw these other two rabbits. I don't know, kind of looks like them. Anyways, I just wanted to show you him. Or she or he, okay? Anyways. I'm so sorry, honey. I'll let, leave you alone. I mean, he was really affectionate when I first got him. You know, I'm probably just not used to being in a cage. And I thought, that's really inhumane for him to be in a cage. He needs to be outside in the wilderness where he, you know, what he's used to doing. So, anyways, I got him out like you said today. And he was really happy and like was like, you know what I'm saying? That like jump set him back, but he was really, really, really happy because um, he um, was laying in my arms like, you know, he's glad to go outside and everything. But when I get back, I'm gonna get him some milk and everything. It says to warm it up. And I hope I have one of those things to feed her things. God, I hope he's gonna be okay. I hope you're gonna be okay, honey. Anyways, thank you all for stopping by my channel. You know, I would really appreciate it if some people would like to comment, you know. I mean, we always teach friends and everything, and I don't know what happened. But anyways, um, you know, there's not, I have a lot going on right now, and I'm trying to take care of a bunny, and I have a lot going on. I just felt sorry for him. My dad's like, you can't feel sorry for him the wilderness you know it's a wild animal blah 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 but i do feel sorry for him because he's getting ready to get hit and everything uh-oh here comes my cat